Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cavendish Farms Wellness Center in Montague, Prince Edward Island. The live webcast on the Bell Alliant Network and Bell Community One Channel. The 2013 Irving Oil Challenge Cup Bantam AAA Gold Medal Final about to take place. Team Nova Scotia represented by the Halifax Irving Oil XL Hawks. Gonna do battle with the champions from New Brunswick, the Northwest Irving Oil Bulls. Nova Scotia 4-0 in the round robin. New Brunswick 3-1. Denny King will bring you the action along with Wayne Spin, local hockey professor Wayne Spin with his doctor of philosophy in the sport of hockey, to say the least, the local flair and Mr. Spin before the national anthem gets underway. This is going to be a dandy. Hey, I think it's anybody's game right now. And the national anthem being finished up there by Island Radio celebrity Carrie Wynn, McLeod, and Wayne. These two teams met in the round robin portion of the tournament. Nova Scotia, a dominant effort, but needed an empty net goal to win, four to two. I notice a little gamesmanship right off the bat. Every game this tournament, Team New Brunswick has started the big three of O'Leary, Decision, and Carter Harrington. But with the top line of New Brunswick coming out here of Terrio and Fox and VNO. Kevin Mitchell opting to go with Barron, Spicer, and Drysdale. So coaching gonna be a factor here. It looks like line matching already. Yeah, and it looks like it could be that all day trying to shut down the big uh, three of Nova Scotia. And the offense going straight uh, at, the, at them, so. Large crowd gathering in the Cavendish Farms Wellness Center and we're underway in the gold medal final of the 2013 Irving Oil Challenge Cup. Casey Fox takes that outlet pass from Robinson and dumps it in deep. Back to get it is LeDrew. Outlet pass to Drysdale and now Barron's got a burst of speed. He's one on one with Denny Toner. Barron goes wide on Toner. Toner, nice body positioning there to take the forward off the puck. Drysdale though, looking for a rebound there and can't find the starting goalies. Riley Pickard for Nova Scotia. Ben Thornton for Team New Brunswick. Two dandies in net, two teams evenly matched. Let's see what it brings. Here's Denny Toner, active defenseman for Team New Brunswick. will dump it in, and New Brunswick will make a change. We're a minute in to the opening period, and fierce action end to end, and we expect to see that all day. Spicer, at the end of his shift, dumps it in, and Thornton will have to play it and leave it for Andy Chason. Chason. On to Sapier, and Sapier loses the handle on that, and Michael O'Leary, the MVP of the round robin portion of the tournament, Michael O'Leary, Wayne, dump that in, and watch this line here of O'Leary, Decision, and Riley Taylor. Let's see what it brings. Here's O'Leary, full of pace, walking in there, but Chasson plays him nicely, and looks like New Brunswick gonna be a little more physical here, Wayne, than they were maybe in the round robin game, and you see a lot of uh, red shirts in the face of the guys in blue, and looks like they're gonna play them a little closer. Yeah, tight, strong defensively, and maybe that's uh, gonna play a little trap here and keep that big three once again at bay, so. Trying to contain the offense of Halifax. Of course, a lot of award winners from the round robin. Riley Pickard named the top goalie. Number seven, Rock Terrio for Team New Brunswick, the top forward. 
Lots of great players here, and keep your eye on a special player in blue, number 16, Graham Rutledge. He was the top defenseman in the tournament. Tower of strength on the point. And a tournament that was loaded with top defenseman Rutledge. Won that award, play now, underway. In the Nova Scotia zone, that's Saunders. Outlet passes past Harrington, and Toner kicks that in, trying to keep it deep, and lost the second backhand attempt high into the zone as New Brunswick tries to get some four checks started. Pass, misses the mark on Berrigan. It's going to go for icing. And Wayne, we talked about Rutledge as he comes on the ice with LaDrew. They'll be paired up all day. And a very patient player back in the point. Doesn't seem to ever get rattled. Very rock solid and, uh, you know, just a, a big general on the uh, blue line. 14 and 15 year old players and the best in Atlantic Canada are here for this championship tournament. Two best teams, I think, without a doubt, playing off. Robinson knifes that over to VNO, and VNO looks for some room, gets tangled up with his own player. Loses the handle on the puck, and Morgan Barron jumps on that for Nova Scotia. Here comes Drysdale's shot, steered aside by Thornton. First shot of the game either way. Casey Fox takes that outlet pass. Fox one hands that puck in, and then he's hit hard into the boards by Ian Drysdale. Play continues into the Nova Scotia end, and VNO looks like he had Spicer lined up. There's Terrio, slap shot, tipped in front by Fox, and it was on the doorstep, but nobody could bang it away, and I think Fox actually stopped the shot for Pickard there, and rebound was perilously close to being picked up by a New Brunswick forward. Great body check there by Lavoie on the forward O'Learian. Play will continue, icing waved off as Huntley being watched by two forwards, but he manages to navigate his way through that quagmire and break it out for Nova Scotia. O'Leary kicks that through, and Andy Chasson, his brother Danny, the leading scorer for the Summerside Western Capitals in the Maritime Junior League. Popular name on the island these days is the Western Capitals, Wayne, sweeping Miramichi in four straight in the first round, and will host the Royal Bank Cup, Canadian Tier 2. Junior A Championship in May. Danny Chase on a great one, and his brother Andy growing into one as well. Taken there by Val Corr, and he fights off a hit, and Mika Sear, the tournament's leading scorer, dumps that in and goes for a change. And As we say, Wayne, loaded with firepower on both ends, but tight start here for both teams. Very rock solid defensively at both ends of the ice, and once again, everybody trying to keep everybody to uh, the outside, and. Cut down scoring chances. There's so. Berrigan picking one up loose in the slot and wristing it toward net, but it's off the skate of Ouellette. Play now. Just in front of the New Brunswick bench, and Lavoie will pick that up and go cross crease to Nissen, and Nissen outlets to Burgoyne, and here's Burgoyne, one on one. Nice play, though, by Murphy on the point. To break that play up and allow Nova Scotia to relieve some pressure and clear things out and Berrigan jumps on that he dumps it deep he was at the end of a shift and it's gonna go for icing and four minutes and 31 seconds into this game Wayne and you get the feeling that with so much on the line nobody wants to make a mistake so play hasn't really exploded the way we expected it will or it might yeah it's hard to say how it's actually gonna unfold here but I'd still say we're in for a heck of a game here. So. Absolutely, and it may be tight, and there's nothing wrong with a close game. Fox and LaDrew, Rutledge working on Terrio. Sorry, that was Barron. Up with it is Fox. Fox takes a shot, bounces back up. PEI hockey official TJ Courtney with the honor of doing the championship game for the boys in stripes, and they've been solid, Wayne. The whole tournament, the officiating crew have been really, really impressive to watch. Here's Spicer, he was looking for Barron and stick check there by Lucas Robinson to break that up for New Brunswick. But Nova Scotia, chance there is Drysdale. Looked for a loose puck in the slot and he's made a living in this tournament, banging pucks in in the slot. Drysdale with three goals, every one of them on the doorstep. And a heavy hit there, Sapier getting the worst of that one from Graham Rutledge and turnover puck and it's Barrett decision, decision. Looks for an outlet out front. He has O'Leary and it's off his skate. Without a stick now, Thornton in the net for New Brunswick. In behind the net as they get this vaunted cycle started. That's Michael O'Leary. O'Leary outlets to 
Riley Taylor, but Taylor can't handle that, and Sear will carry on. He's one against two, and a nice play by Delahanty to break it up, and Michael O'Leary lost a backhander in. Stopped up by Lavoie. Checks up and outlets to Valcor, and Valcor looking for the captain, Bradley Sapier. And a penalty call coming here as I think number 16, Valcor is gonna get the gate here for a high stick on Riley Taylor. Hit to the head, Wayne is the call. I think the two minute variety. And Nova Scotia will have the first power play opportunity of the day. Yeah, Team New Brunswick actually uh, has to uh, play strong defensively here on the high powered offense of Nova, Nova Scotia, so. Nice clearing attempt there by Lavoie. Alex Lavoie pounds it down and That'll make Nova Scotia have to go the length of the ice as they set up this power play breakout. Barron, bank pass to Drysdale. Drysdale into the slot. A little bit ahead of him it was, and Pope checked away, but kept in on a second effort by Ian Drysdale to Barron now in the slot. Barron shoots, and he scores! Morgan Barron on the short side, went up the arm and over the shoulder of Ben Thornton and found the back of the net. And on the power play to start things off, Morgan Barron has given Team Nova Scotia the important one nothing lead. Once again, there's uh, another power play goal, so what do we say, right? You got a discipline and you can't take penalties like that against a high-powered offense like this uh, blue machine. Absolutely, and a big goal there for Morgan Barron has his team in the lead. Rutledge now as Rock Terrio will try to get Newfound or New Brunswick back on the score sheet. Outlet pass to Taylor from O'Leary. Taylor goes wide, chips it toward the net, and Thornton will hang on to that at the top of the crease, and faceoff will come just to the left of the big New Brunswick goalie, Ben Thornton, and maybe Thornton just leaning just a little tiny bit, and the goal scorer, Barron, saw that, and Shot it toward that short side and he got a piece of it, but it went up over top of him and in to the net. Once again, you gotta be hugging that post, right? Because an inch here, an inch there, you, she's in the back of the net, so. The skill level in this tournament has been very, very impressive. I think there's a lot, of, like we said, there's a lot of scouts in the building here today and you know, they must be somewhat impressed because there's definitely kids that Delahanty. They're definitely on their way to the big show somewhere. Shot there by Delahanty went up over the glove of Thornton and found its way to the mesh, and I believe that might come outside the blue line as it went off the Nova Scotia player. Good faceoff win there by Barron, the goal scorer, and uh, we've watched his game elevate every game throughout this tournament. Number 17, Morgan Barron. Yeah, and I mean, he's almost the forgotten man on this Nova Scotia team, right? So many guys loaded up front and you just keep looking at the score sheet and it's Barron, Barron and Barron. Just the way he likes it, team first. All these guys in red and blue. Give away the individual awards in a heartbeat for the chance of the gold medal and to wrap it around their necks. Outlet pass by Drysdale. Found Barron but it bounced off his skate and Rutledge with the head up, outlets nicely to Spicer and Spicer lifts that high into the end zone and Nova Scotia will change up. That's gonna give Toner a long lead pass, and he thought he had Valcor streaking through the middle, but Peter Drohan broke that up for New Nova Scotia. Here's Valcor now taking a hit from Delahanty, and Drohan will take that loose puck and carry it into the end zone. He's wrestled down by Sear. That's gonna allow Tremblay chance to go into the corner, and wrestling now for the pucker, Drohan and Lavoie, and Big Lavoie carries it out. Outlets now to Burgoyne and Pierre Burgoyne, one on three, wrists that tour, then it's blocked by Christian Huntley and Berrigan sends Nova Scotia back. Tremblay high along the dasher and it's knocked down by Thornton. Puck kept in at the blue line by Alexander Saunders for New Nova Scotia, the champs at the Halifax. And here comes Drysdale with a head of steam. Drysdale shot, got his own rebound, got it again, it was blocked. Third time off the side of the net and Drysdale couldn't bury it. Cleared out by Burgoyne. Hammered all the way back in by Saunders and Nova Scotia picking up where they left off in the last game where these guys met. Relentlessly pursuing the puck at every end of the rink. That's, 
playing playing 200 uh, feet of the rink, right? So, absolutely. There's Spicer breaking up that pass attempt to Colby Nissen, and New Brunswick now able to clear. But look at the close checking there of Spicer on Nissen. Swings that toward the net, and Pickard will put the paddle down and leave it for Rutledge, and Rutledge will set up in behind the net with Terrio bearing down on him. Outlets to decision, and decision goes wide to Spicer. There's Spicer. Slap shot wide of the net. Picked up by Vieno, and Vieno thought he had Terrio in the middle of the ice surface, but missed the mark by quite a few feet and lifted off the glass there by LeBlanc. That's going to allow another pass by LeDrew to find the mark and chipped in by decision, giving chase his line mate O'Leary, Michael O'Leary. Riley Taylor tried to center it out there to decision in the slot. Plays a lot like Phil Esposito, this Barrett decision. Big body with a big stick and soft hands in front of the net. Very deadly in front of the uh, slot, so. Hard to move. Strong. Watch for that throughout this telecast. LeDrew now, chip pass up to O'Leary, and O'Leary was lined up there by Robinson, and O'Leary put the brakes on there as he was going for a shift at the 4.46 to go. In the opening period, the goal by Barron as Nova Scotia in the lead, one to nothing. Sear tries to sidestep Huntley, not able to do so, and Delahanty gobbles that up and dumps it out for Nova Scotia. There's Christian Huntley. Huntley being watched by Valcor, so he banks it off the boards to Delahanty, and Delahanty can't handle that puck, and pressure now by New Brunswick as they try to get a cycle going. Bradley Sapier out to Sear. Sear fanned on the shot, tried to one-time it. Puck was rolling. Backhanded out by Sear and Sapier had left the slot area momentarily and that's gonna clear the zone. Lavoie sidesteps O'Leary, dumped in high by Alex Lavoie. Sear works hard on Saunders and Saunders goes down but Decision is there to pick it up. Frantic action here at the Cavendish Firms Wellness Center in Montague, the gold medal game. The 2013 Irving Oil Challenge Cup on the Bell Alliance Network and Bell Community One Channel. Denny King and Wayne Spin bringing you the action. Been a wonderful tournament here in Montague. 12 games, this is the 12th and final match. The best teams in Atlantic Canada squared off. The two best teams in the tournament are playing here. And the only undefeated team, Nova Scotia, leading one to nothing. Three minutes to go in the opening frame. Four checking now is New Brunswick. But stripped of the puck there was Christian Ouellette. And the pass missed the mark from Team Nova Scotia. And retreating is Andy Chason. Chason to Vienno, and he got tied up with the official there and couldn't handle that outlet pass. Rutledge slows it down. Nova Scotia gives it to Saunders and his Pass is chipped in there by Berrigan. Wristed out by Toner, and Toner fast the Fox was behind him, and it cost Casey Fox a chance to hold up and couldn't get the wheels going the way he wanted to, and that puck there just in front of Ben Thornton, but he got the pad down, and now Drysdale takes a hit from Vienno in the slot. Barron wristed toward the net. Drysdale tried to jump on that rebound. Can't bury it. Anxious moments here for Team New Brunswick as Drysdale working hard on Vienno and down a couple of bodies there. Morgan Barron down Wayne and 2.18 to go and great end-to-end -end action here, but quality scoring chances being really sparingly. Eh? Slim to none. Yeah, slim yeah. to none. And as of right now, the shots are 4-4, four, four to four and uh, like you said, a little while back there, then uh, about uh, players going out of their way to give up individual awards. Young Mika Sear there for New Brunswick said that he would gladly give up top scorer to uh, come home with the Urban Challenge Cup this weekend. Absolutely, he's had a wonderful tournament, leading the league or leading the tournament rather in goals and points, five goals and six points all told. And here he goes again, Mika Sear, wrist at that toward the net, and Riley Pickard steers it aside, and puck bounces off the official low, and Valcor jumps on a shot toward the net, Valcor. Falls down, jumps back up, picks it up to Sear in the slot. Sear, he's a marksman out in the slot, but just hooked at the last second by decision, and he couldn't get a clean whack at it, as they say. Lavoie dumps that in the corner. Huntley on to Delahanty, and 
Outlets kept in though, no. He thought LeBlanc kept that in and now decision with O'Leary. Decision has O'Leary, slap shot by decision. Far side was labeled there, but he just missed and O'Leary had a burst of speed and he was in behind the defender. LeBlanc dumping puck there and confidently played by Riley Pickard and that was a dangerous one half, but uh, might be a bit of first baseman in the uh, genes of young Riley Pickard because he gobbled that one hopper up without any trouble at all. But as, you, as we see, uh, Coach Dumbas coach uh, right now is kind of shaking his head a little more or less saying, get the body in front too, right? Don't be too careful, eh? You can never be too careful in a championship game. Toner back to Robinson. Robinson shot with traffic in front and Pickard there to save what he didn't see, but he steered it aside and now the top line. Rock Terrio out for New Brunswick. Great play there. Ouellette takes a hit there from, or Ouellette drives a hit into Rutledge and Nova Scotia bench calling for a penalty, but not gonna get it and called on the offside there. And he referee TJ Courtney's gonna let them play, Wayne. He might have got away with one there, but it's great to see the referees actually letting the, the players play their game. 55 seconds to go in the opening period. one nothing. Team Nova Scotia. Pounded in there by Ledrew, and he got a little too much mustard on that and right into the bench of Team New Brunswick. And we'll do it all again just 50 feet to our right. How about a little shout out to uh, Puckster of Hockey Canada that's here today. Uh, the, the kids are all enjoying seeing them and uh, we just don't know who's under that mask there, but somebody said rumor it could be Paul Bruno Bernard there <laughs> then, but. Well, could be, we don't know, but Puckster's here and Hockey Canada and Hockey Canada officials and officials from all hockey jurisdictions in Atlantic Canada and host committee is done a wonderful job of selling this tournament to the local sponsors and of course Irving Oil. Wayne, what can you say about the people at Irving Oil? Se they, second to none, that's for sure. And Here's Fox, Fox in the slot. Back to Sapier. Sapier though can't finish that and Riley Taylor's gonna carry out. Dumps it high off the glass as Nova Scotia now a little petty by the gate post as you might say in these parts is trying to play it safe here in the last 20 seconds and take this one nothing lead to the dressing room and not a bad idea Wayne if you can get away with it Rutledge on to LaDrew and LaDrew on to decision and decision knifes that into the end middle of the rink but it's picked off by Mika here and he pounds it down but there's five seconds to go and in hockey terms Rutledge is told to eat it that means kill time Wayne and he's done that a little nonchalant back there, you know, two or three seconds, and hey, caught that puck up. You got a scoring chance. So. Pretty confident player, young Graham Rutledge. Top defenseman in this tournament, recognized last night at the awards banquet. That's one period in the books. Team Nova Scotia, one. Team New Brunswick, zero. After the first period in the gold medal game of the 2013 Irving Oil Challenge Cup, Denny King and Wayne Spin bringing you the action on the Bell Alliance Network. And Bell Community One Channel will be back with second period action in a moment. 